Welcome back. I have a pretty interesting game this time. We have a, a New Orleans class again that I'm driving around. And this match uh, just has a bit of everything, really. Um, you can see by the look of the map, we have everybody on one side. And uh, I mean, this just gets hectic pretty quick. Um, uh, there are torpedoes being dropped left and right trying to get our uh, battleships and cruisers over here um over at uh what is that f f9 f8 in that area is uh <laughs> alone baltimore and um i he's got some balls just going over there by himself but uh you know we meet up uh, later and he's able to help us take out a couple ships but you can see me here um trying to get back I was at the tail end of the, the map at the spawn and just trying to get back to uh, try to help provide some air cover against these guys and the southern New Orleans ran the ground but uh, wasn't able to capitalize on it too much and as you can see trying to take out the uh, fighters okay I take it back I did capitalize a little bit I decent citadel hit there took out his propulsion but he definitely used his repair kit and I really didn't think that uh, <laughs> poor, poor freaking Omaha running by with, <laughs> you know, in flames. Oh my god, poor guy. And this is a tier 8 match, so I don't know what the hell he's doing in here. We had two Omahas on the team. Uh, or actually, yeah, I think it was two Omahas. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, um, let's see. Yeah, I didn't get that uh, last salvo against the New Orleans to hit, unfortunately. And we're all just noticing the same thing with the chat here, that the base is being capped. And uh, I freely admit to having tunnel vision um, along with everybody else. I mean, to varying degrees, of course. But uh, this game, <laughs> uh, you're going to have a lot of people that, you know, in first-person shooters, a lot of people cannot fathom anything outside of their their scope, whether it's you know a sniper rifle scope or their ACOG or whatever the hell. They do not have the spatial awareness to grasp grasp uh, the rest of the world around them, and that's actually what leads to them sucking and not doing very well and. You know, not having the experience that they're trying to have uh, in a lot of first-person shooters, and you know, I'm sure World of Tanks has the same problem, um, just of course in a different uh, different manner. And this does too, where you know you get so fixed on a single target, and uh, you know, in this you have to watch where those shells land, so you know where to lead, and you know how to adjust your aim. <clears throat> And, uh, you know, information comes and goes pretty quick in this. And, I mean, <laughs> here's a decent example, right? Um, unfortunately, this game does have a lot of desync issues. Um, as you see in my uh, chat here as I comment on, but, um, you know what? Actually, let me just say for this moment, I haven't watched this again. This is beautiful. It's a Fletcher, uh, tier nine, and right, boom! <laughs> what a shot! Oh, that makes me feel good. <laughs> so, you can see by the tallies up there, got fourteen hits, six uh, plane shot down, a critical hit. Um, and the Citadel along with the Fletcher class that I just destroyed. So that's going to start uh, racking up pretty soon. Anyways, um, you know, as far as the the tunnel vision and whatnot, it, I think a lot of people, you're, you're just going to lose games based off of that. Um, it's going to happen, and you're just going to have to deal with it because there will be moments where you should have unzoomed and took a look around and you know, 
gathered a little bit more information around the uh, the immediate area around you, and uh, you know maybe changed your course of action. So here comes that uh, New Orleans. He's being shot at by the uh, Baltimore, who certainly hauled ass and got out of there pretty fast. I mean, he's he's pretty far away, but he brought an Amagi with him, and uh, he actually does a really good job of keeping them at distance at uh, arm's length and you know putting some damage down. But I know they don't have a terribly quick reload. I think it's. Uh, with the upgraded turret, it's like four and a half a second, or uh, not a second, I'm sorry, uh, four and a half uh, salvos a minute. And unfortunately, I'm caught between that Amagi as well, and he notices me. <laughs> I'm trying to get the attention of my teammates to uh, throw some fire his way so I don't have to be the only one that gets hit by him. But I don't like uh, engaging battleships. And I really don't like seeing that puff of smoke in the distance because I know, <laughs> I know those rounds are coming in for me. Ouch! Could have been a hell of a lot worse right there, though. I'm trying to lead. At this point, I'm just trying to make him, you know, run away a little faster and you know, move himself out of position so he can't hit me. Which, luckily, then uh, again there. Um, was able to make some quick moves. <sighs> Focus on this Amagi. Clear the top half of the map of enemies. I thought I was going to get that, but I won't. It's not like I did all that work, so it's not, I really wouldn't have deserved it at all. But, so, as you see, we have eight minutes left, eight and a half minutes left. Teammate noticed it as well. We need to really start making the push down south. And, you know, honestly, at this point, this is the type of stuff that you've just got to go. And uh, let our, our CV do his thing and, you know, try to keep the, uh, the enemies occupied. And I mean, if you, if you're setting up, like, torpedo lanes and like preventing them, like area denial from getting into areas, um, to allow us to move, uh, you know, to where we need to be to make the move on their cap point. Or, uh, oops, sorry, um, <laughs> uh, to make a move on their cap point, or uh, you know, to you know, run through a channel and uh, bust through their lines. Uh, it's just. You gotta make a move, and I think people in this game tend to be really complacent and want to be very protective of their ships, and I get that, but at the same time, one, it's not like, I mean, this is beta, so who the hell cares about the stats anyways? Uh, not that stats are really all that important, you know, without a context, um, but in this case, I just, honestly, I just want to fight more. Uh, that's all I try to do. I try to fight as much as I can and try to have uh, some teamwork going on. Uh, that's why I don't, I won't play battleships. I, I think they're just not for me. It's not my type of play style. I'd rather get some, uh, you know, face-to-face -face, uh, battles going on and, you know, have some moves thrown in there as well with the destroyers or the cruisers because I mean they're not the most uh, maneuverable things but it's a hell of a lot better than the battleship so great long range shot there 70% hit rate out of that full salvo next one I don't think we did as well so here see both of their CVs, and I'm a lot closer than I thought it would be. Um, I really expected them to maneuver a different way, and I should have kept my AP for just this moment here. I could have already shot, but I decided for some reason to switch to HE, and uh, that was dumb. But, you know, take the shot while you can, and uh, I could have 
probably have planted one right near his engines. Uh, maybe. Carriers tend to be pretty easy to hit. And at this point, I'm fully expecting to get assaulted mercilessly by aircraft. And that happens. So you see on the map, we just killed one of the, uh, I think it was a cruiser that just went down. And there's another one moving in. And again, I don't know why, but I decided to stick with the AG on this. And I knew I'd still do damage, but man, I should have switched to AP. I could have saved myself a lot of trouble here. But, so. My AA teams are going batshit crazy. I'm saving the repair just in case I have a turret knocked out. Give my guys just a moment to uh, get things going. Knocked out the one of the torpedo sets for... I think it's the Mogami, but uh... See my little secondaries hit there? <laughs> but, right in the Citadel. Boom. Love fighting these ships. When they give me their side, it's beautiful. So I'm split between the carriers and this. And I am going full tunnel vision on this as well. Because I'm not even paying attention to the map. It's just me trying to kill that damn Mugami and keeping an eye on the skies for tort bombers or dive bombers coming in. And as expected, torpedoes. And good night. Good night. So now it's more of, who the hell do I shoot? And now I've got a destroyer firing off his torpedoes <laughs> from from the smoke. And I honestly thought I was dead here anyways. I didn't think I'd have the uh, chance to dodge this, but... Right along the bow. Time to make this guy pay a little bit. You can see my front turrets, they're sweeping around. Got just one shot. And... Nailed it. <laughs> Definitely uh, threading the needle on that one. <laughs> Love when it comes together like that. At this point, I'm just trying to do what I can. I'm in the cap circle, I've taken half of it, and for some damn reason, the Amagi, I think it's an Amagi, um, to my south, uh, he's just ignoring the cap and going for the CBs, which, that sucks. And so does that. So, 27 aircraft shot down, <laughs> 4 critical hits, 5 citadels, 3 ships destroyed and uh, set enemies on fire four times, 56 total hits. At this point, I'm just hoping I get the, the uh, bonus XP for the uh, first win of the day. Or, I should say, first win of the 24 hours. It's definitely not the first win of the last day, whatever. Um, and here I'm kind of bewildered as to why the hell these battleships have so much health. But, you know. Regardless, I know that there were some serious torpedoes uh, in the water earlier, and I'm, I'm honestly amazed that anybody got out of that alive. It was pretty impressive. But... So we have the guy back here who's doing what he should be doing. And basically, I don't know if he even meant to do that, but he, uh, I guess he beached himself. But uh, you know, he's in the cap, but he's protected from you know, the other ship that's uh, in the center there. So there's no way he can attack him. Got this guy just, you know, stationary. And the win. Yay. So 182,000 with the 85,000 lost.
uh, for full repair of the ship and nearly 4,000 XP with the uh, 1.5 multiplier. Look at that, 2,600 base experience. <laughs> Way ahead of the other team and pretty much everybody on my team. So I'm very happy about that. And really not that much damage. Um, I've had more. My planes destroyed. It's the damage I received. And here we go. See you next time.